So it's impossible to make clients happy. I'm gonna tell you why that is here and what you can do if you have a digital marketing agency, how you can grow your business while doing the best that you can to keep everybody on board. So let's get into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I make daily marketing videos here. I also create uh, videos about how to grow a digital marketing agency and also vlog about creating my agency. So I wanna talk about something that I think is very, very important to talk about in building an agency and that's maintaining client happiness. And uh, maintaining clients is a very difficult thing. Like Don Draper said, the minute you sign a client is the minute you start to lose them. Right, he said it way cooler than me. The day you sign a client is the day you start losing them. But um, it's true. So the best point in the relationship that you have typically with a client is the second that they sign the contract or that you get started on their work, right? You've sold them, they've bought in, and they're happy. There may be a few weeks after where you're in some, you know, sort of a honeymoon phase, especially if it's growing and going well. Um, I've had clients that I've done amazing work for, and let me tell you how the relationship goes typically. So you have a client, they bring on work and you do great work, they're super happy, you're increasing sales, you're growing, cost per leads are down, and then let's say you're able to maintain that for months. Typically, here's what happens. They get accustomed to this new increase and you know everything is changing. You probably felt it too, right? So you know Facebook is falling apart and you're somehow managing to hold things together and you've duct taped it all together and it's just staying together and you're like, geez, this is wonderful, we're, we're growing, but they're like, hey, you know, we're not, we're not growing anymore. Sure, we're, we're getting really low cost per leads and sure, we're getting additional new sales and, you know, but we're not scaling or, you know, I'm so glad that you're doing a great job here. We need to add more work. And so they start to kind of assimilate you into their team and things just, they, they want more, right? There's not like some kind of level where you can simply maintain the relationship and the status quo, especially once you establish it. So there's a few things that I think you can do as a digital marketing agency, and this is what I've done and this is what I've learned, is that you have to do these things to continue to keep clients. And I've been lucky and fortunate that I've been able to retain a lot of my clients long term. And um, I think that that's probably pretty uncommon in the, in the agency world. I don't have too many friends who are in agencies. I'd love to know what's the longest you've had a client for. Comment below um, with that. But... Typically, a few things need to happen. So number one, in your onboarding that you have, you need to set expectations super clear. It needs to be 100% transparent exactly what is gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, what they can expect. And the number one thing that I think is very, very important to set is communication. So number one, where is the communication gonna happen with the client, in what medium? So a lot of times I'll get clients who are messaging me on Facebook Messenger, they're messaging me on email, and then they have Slack, and then they have Trello, right? And so that's four potential areas to drop the ball, especially when I have multiple clients, I'm managing tons of these communication channels, and it's extremely overwhelming for me. So number one, I have to define where is a good place for them to reach out to me. And then number two is how quickly should they expect to hear back? Some some clients, it's always there's a fire going, we need to put out this fire. And those are the most annoying clients, to be honest with you. Uh, because you're like, hey, I totally understand that this is very urgent and important to you. In reality, this can be handled in the normal time speed that we're, we're handling issues. So number two is you have to really train them. Okay, if you're going to respond to me at 9.30 p.m. on a Friday, you're not going to get a response until Monday morning when we get started. And we're, we're rolling through, you know, all of our client communication things. So that, that I think is number two that's very, very important. And then I think number three, you're gonna have to make sure that you're giving them updates on exactly what's going on. With the clients that most successful with me, I think that in general, the, um, we have weekly meetings typically, or updates or objectives. And so we'll set objectives for the prior week, we'll achieve those objectives or work as hard as we can and then update on the previous week and give new objectives for next week. So we're always moving towards targets, right? You have to set targets. They have to be clear and you have to know this is our objective. Here's why we're working on this and get buy-in. When you're just have, you know, left to your own devices, you'll do what you think is most important, but a lot of times the client doesn't know what's going on. And since digital marketing work is, you know, it's 
untangible, right? You can't really see it or hold it. It's not like you're going in the, you're building a house or digging a ditch or providing some physical product, right? You can see sales, um, you can see opt-ins and leads and engagement and reach. But a lot of times, especially if you're just starting out and you're building awareness campaigns and content and funnels and automations and all of these different things, the client can't see all of the work that goes into that. So making sure that they are understanding what's happening, how long it's taking, why it's taking so long, what's the complications, what are the problems, what goes into it. And I, I think that that's really important to consider when you're out there working and the client doesn't get to see it. So um, make sure that you're not doing your work in secret. And uh, I think that that's absolutely something that's helpful too. So we had you have to set expectations properly. You have to establish where the communication is going to happen and then meet regularly. And then number four is be radically transparent. I think that if you want to get any kind of level of success, number one, you have to set you know proper expectations again. But in general, the biggest problems that I've had are when somebody thinks that, you know, adding a funnel or adding ads or you know, set, setting things up is going to somehow magically transform their business. And the truth is that the, the work that most digital marketers do, it will help to amplify kind of the things that are going on in their business rather than just magically transform it and be the end all, be all, solve problem, magic, you know, spell that, that happens. Um, and so in general, you have to make sure that you can't take responsibility for their business succeeding or failing. You have to be a leader, not a savior, typically. And, you know, there are always, you know, outliers for this. And I like to be a helpful person. And so I've probably jumped on more times than I should have when somebody says like, we need to do something to save this. It's not, it's not going to work um, unless we, you know, dramatically change things. And especially when I was starting out and brand new, I would jump in and try to save them and be like, you know what, we're going to add webinars, we're going to do content, we're going to do all of this, we need to get tons of action done. And then you get a plan, and you do your work, but they don't finish their side of the things. And so it's like, you can only lead a horse to water, you know, and it's very, very important that you make that distinction. Um, because again, we can we can generate results, we can generate attention, but if they don't have the follow up in place, if they don't have the sales staff in place, if they don't have, you know, the, the tools that they need to have in place to make their business work, it's not going to help them grow their business. So I think that those are definitely a few important tips. I would love to know though, what are some of your favorite tips for keeping clients happy? And uh, would love to know what your thoughts are on that. But um, thanks for watching. If you have an agency, comment below. I'd love to connect with you. If you're looking for digital marketing work, also comment below. Um, send me a message in LinkedIn. I'm happy to, I'm gonna be starting doing some trainings and things here. So uh, definitely check out um, those trainings when they're available. Basically what the, the goal here is to build out a system where um, I train and then hand off work to people who are looking to grow a digital marketing agency. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.